Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to explain how to use normal maps inside of Blender. So for this tutorial I have to use Blender 2.49 because uh, this feature isn't in Blender 2.5 yet, as at least as far as I know. So, but that's not a problem, so we're just going to use this. Let's go ahead and open up our scene. I made a head uh, a while ago, and uh, as you can see it was when I was first starting out because of how bad the ear looks, but that doesn't matter, I just found uh, model that we could use. So let's go ahead and get started. So I still have the mirror modifier, but uh, so we're gonna, you need to apply that. So make sure you're done modeling when you do this. Or yeah, yeah, that's fine. So what we need to do now is we need to lay out uh, this model's UVs. So the way we're gonna do that is we're just gonna select this edge loop in the middle here by alt right clicking, and we're gonna deselect everything. Uh, below here right here so we need to just press B and right click and drag right to about there uh, yeah we need to deselect this as well okay so uh, we're, you make sure that uh, it follows all the way down the back here and uh, yeah that's good so press control E and mark seam select everything and let's go ahead and split this area go to the UV image editor and then press U unwrap and we have a very uh, neatly structured UVs here. Uh, I have two stray faces here, and I don't exactly know where they're from, but that's not a problem. It doesn't really matter, it's just a tutorial. So uh, press L to select this and just move this over just so that there's no overlapping faces. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and turn off our subsurface modifier for now. Now we're going to go ahead and take this model. Let's rename this from plane. Let's call this uh, just model. Okay. Now we need to press Shift D to duplicate the model, and make sure that you duplicate it after you lay out the UVs. And now we're going to take model 001 and move it with M to layer two. Let's go over to layer two. And now that we have that, let's go into sculpt mode. And uh, before I go any further, let me just explain what normal maps are. Normal maps is uh, when you sculpt something or add a lot of detail like in Blender sculpt uh, mode here or in ZBrush uh, you can't possibly get that much detail with a low poly model like this so what you have to do is you have to model all the detail with a really dense model and then you have to export all that detail into a map and apply it to the low poly model so that's what we're gonna do now so we need to add some uh, some um, sorry, <laughs> some density to this. So you can see here we only have uh, 900 uh, vertices and only 900 faces. So we need to get that up. So we need to add multi-res and think of this like uh, adding geometry inside of ZBrush. It's the same thing, and that stands for multi-resolution. We're gonna go ahead and add a level, add a level, add a level, and that should be fine. 57,000. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a bunch of bumps over her entire face. So what we're going to do is we need to add a texture. So let's go ahead and add a new material to this. Go to the texture panel, add new, and let's go ahead and add a wood texture. Ring noise, and turn that to hard noise. And that looks cool. We can turn up the contrast if you want, like so. OK, now let's go back over here to the editing tab. Let's go to texture, go down here, and let's add that texture to be manipulated so we can add that that uh, noise. So let's turn the strength up, let's turn the size up, and to make sure symmetry is on so, we, so you don't have to do it uh, as slow. And we're just going to add some random bumps around her whole head. And we're not making this look good at all because it's just a tutorial, just to show you guys. Okay, uh, that's fine. So let's get out of sculpt mode, and you want to apply the multi-res, multi-res. Sorry. Now you need to press Tab to go into edit mode. Have everything selected, and then press Image, New, and then add just the black image in the back. It doesn't matter what color it is but you need to have a image in the background to bake the normal map onto. So now let's go over here to our low poly model. Let's tab to go into edit mode and we'll apply that same 
black uh, black image. Now what we need to do is move this model to layer one by pressing M and then one and pressing enter. And now this is what you need to do. Uh, yeah, you need to select the first model, the low poly model, and you can see which one it is by it says model. And then you need to lastly select shift right click your high poly model in that order. And then you need to go ahead and select, go into the render tab and go to bake. And we're going to bake the normals. And we're going to ba be baking tangent normals because that seems to work best with Blender. And you want to select select it to active so that the uh, active uh, actively selected model gets uh, the detail uh, baked. So mm. <sighs> that only comes up when I run, when I uh, record, so it's annoying. So now all you have to do is press bake, and it bakes very very quickly. And this is what a normal map looks like. You should be familiar with this if you've seen other people's models. And now let's go ahead and uh, take our high res model here and just move that to layer two or delete it, you actually don't need it anymore. Let's go ahead and select our low poly model. Go ahead and add that subsurf modifier again. Now let's go over here to materials. Add new material. Let's turn the specularity down. Okay. Let's go over here to add new image. Oh, one more thing. You need to save this image off. Otherwise it won't show up. So you need to save it. This is my desktop. Let's just call it uh, normal map tutorial. Okay, so now that we have that, just load it up. You can see we have it right here. And here's something that's very important. You need to select normal map right here. Otherwise, Blender won't uh, know that it's a normal map and just treat it like it's a normal image. So now, let's go ahead and go over here to map input, UV, so that uh, the image is spread across as we had the UVs laid out. Now let's go ahead and turn off color because we don't want this weird color affecting it. Turn on nor for normal map and turn that to one so it's, it affects it uh, as much as it has it here. Now all we need to do is render it out. So pr if you press Alt Z to go into textured mode you can see it's not looking so great. So what we need to do is go over here to shaded view and that seems to fix it fine. Okay, and then we're just going to give it really basic, uh, really basic lighting here. Yeah. Okay, we need, well, let's go ahead and press period so that we can uh, rotate around our, our cursor there. Let's just rotate right about, right about there. And zoom in a little bit. And just for the sake of you know, looking good. Let's go ahead and turn on uh, approximate ambient occlusion. Let's turn the energy down to 0.4. We don't really want that much. Just a little bit so it'll look better. And we'll render. It'll just take a second because the ambient occlusion is on. Oops. And there you go. And uh, you know that's the basics of normal mapping. And uh, the real, the way that you can use normal mapping to its full extent is to uh, UV map or hide your seams better because you see here in the in the 3D view and in our render we have a a hole right there and that's because I I'm not that great at UV uh, mapping so left the seam right there as we baked but um, it was just for the sake of showing you guys how to use normal maps and not how to UV map so that's all I have for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and uh, actually, let's just get one more shot. Let's just go ahead and parent these lights to the camera. Control P, make parent. And I'll press Control 1 to get the back view. Press Control Alt 0, like so. Actually, let's. Uh, go ahead and get the side view really quick, just so we, just so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, yeah, you can see it got all that detail just like we had. Okay, so now you guys know how to normal map. And this is a great way to add your detail from uh, your high detail to your low t detail models for animation. 
So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and be sure to watch future tutorials. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.